Uh, JS says, Jeff, do you stand with Nick? Well, it's a complicated question. I stand with Nick on certain questions. Um, I stand with Nick on a uh, rejection of immigration. Uh, strategically, I do not think that his strategy is the right one. I think that in the long run, uh, in the long run, Nick will be Jacob Wald. He will be increasingly dismissed as a troll of the internet because of the approach he chose to take. Now, that being said, as an intellectual, you know, I'm not a man of strategies, but I, I, I can still have comments and opinions about them. <clears throat> and I, I think that Nick is definitely deluding himself if he thinks that his uh, movement is a good optics-based movement. It is definitely not uh, optics passable. So personally, as a dissident intellectual, you know, I, I tend to say, all right, fuck the optics, you know. But uh, I have this bizarre impression of deception on the side of the gripers when they interact with me. Uh, I think this belief that you are doing good on the side of optics I mean, I don't think you guys measure the just the wall of crap that you're headed for. Uh, that being said, I agree fundamentally with Nick on many things. I have also recently tweeted something about uh, about a past debate that I forgot to mention because people were saying, "Jeff, why don't you debate Nick?" I've already debated Nick <coughs> more than a year ago maybe a year and a half ago or maybe even two years ago i don't exactly remember but what i found in this debate is that nick was willing to stand with the trump Syri syria strike uh beside israel and this is one other aspect that i haven't covered in my recent videos but there is uh, something fundamentally bizarre in this movement where it claims to be America first as opposed to Israel first. Okay, makes sense. It, cl it, it, it morally offends itself in front of any sort of support toward Israel. Okay, makes sense. But your leader, your leader, when it really mattered, when we had a chance to dissociate American military intervention from Israel, by saying no to their offer to strike Syria, stood by the Israeli. And so what is the function of having a leader of your movement who can do a couple of edgy jokes about cookies and ovens, but who's unable to translate this into a true America first policy as opposed to an Israeli first policy? It's quite shocking that this movement, that one of its pillars is a resistance to Israel foreign interference in American politics, and yet your leader has been standing by the strikes of Syria to the interest of the Israeli. Uh, Worm says, I can't believe JF is still behind on this tactic. Well, uh, I'm not behind. If you have a good argument against what I'm saying, express it. Say, Jeff, you're wrong about this because of this. Uh, I'm not behind. We may have a different opinion, but I'm not behind. It's, a, it's not that I've not been coached or updated about the news. I know exactly what's going on. I have a perspective on it. I think you're headed for some clashes and something wrong. Uh, when you pick a, a movement leader that in the past has displayed pro-Israeli intervention and, and you make it the whole thing because Ben Shapiro is for Israel and Charlie Kirk is for Israel and we're talking just about what giving three billion dollars to Israel. Uh, Nick Frantes has stood for giving an entire military intervention to Israel, the Syria strikes to which he stood for, while I was debating him and telling him that he was wrong. Maybe you should pick me as your next uh, movement leader, but I have no interest in being that, so I'm just kidding. 
Uh, Worm says, Jeff, you are behind. Trump was throwing bones to the dogs with a non-important strike. <laughs> you guys are reconstructing everything around your hero uh, and the irrationality that's sweating of what you just said, dude, Worm, is, uh, is disgusting. <laughs> it's really alarming to me. It's like you are dismissing an act of war on a nation, on a, on a sovereign nation, because that was not, that was not as bad as other acts of war, you know? <laughs> okay, you, you can reconstruct everything, but you, you'll get the same reconstructions from Charlie Kirk. How can you stand in front of Charlie Kirk and say, oh my God, and, and tear your t-shirt saying, Oh my God, Charlie, I can't believe we're giving $3 billion to Israel. How can you credibly stand in front of him when you've invested large amounts of cash, international influence, and risked soldiers' lives into a strike of Syria exactly on the targets that Israel was requesting? You're a cock and you don't, e you don't even realize it. it. It's amazing. And you're building your responses and arguments like a fucking cock.